Hey guys, what's going on? Soldafire here, They're back with another Destiny 2 video. Today I'm going to be showing you where the Ascendant Challenge is for the week of July 30th. And I'm going to be, well, just going through it, showing you where it's at. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so starting at spawn, just go ahead and follow me. You're going to want to head to the left side of where you would enter for the blind well. jump into the cliff of no return, you know, casually. should be attempting to go inside the Chamber of Starlight Lost Center. Now there are a lot of enemies here, so if you if you don't think you might be able to do the Ascendant Challenge in one go, I definitely recommend taking them all out so that they're not a bother when you come back. So once you get around this corner, go ahead and pop your Queen's Foil. As you can see the portal's up there at the top of the cliff, in the back. And go ahead and take out these Hobgoblins. Jump in the portal. So, once you've spawned in, you can immediately turn around and get away from the ugly, disgusting knights that are trying to follow you and follow this nice light that's not suspicious at all. So, this week's Ascended Challenge is back into the race slash labyrinth, where basically you're just trying to get away from those knights without dying and get to the end. Make sure to watch out for all these yellow health barred thrall, and also watch out for the bounce pads that look like they should be on failing shields. Definitely not reprinted. The farther that you go, the more often that the knights are going to just spawn right behind you. You know, fun times. Grenade launchers are good for taking out hordes of enemies, so you can use one of those or a rocket launcher would also be good. Just be sure not to kill yourself because you will have to start all the way over. Now this time you can see that the knights spawn in front of me and they're missing their helmets. Basically they're mad. They're mad and they're going to chase you and they're going to try to slam you. I know, I'm sorry, I killed your leaders like three times over. I mean I killed Crota, then I killed Oryx, you know, it's just kind of a theme at this point. Now we get to Death Alley where everything wants to knock you off. I 
I said off, not up. Just to be clear. In fact, the knights probably want to smack you down, if anything. Anyway, so once you get to the end, this is the part where the knights will no longer be able to chase you. You can jump on these asteroids in peace. If peace means that you're jumping over an endless abyss where the asteroids are constantly spinning and want you to fall off. So just be careful how you land on these asteroids as, like I said, they do spin and they do want you to fall off. Physics Bungo. Okay, so once you've reached the final platform, after you've crossed all the asteroids, you'll see that a Shrieker spawns up top and a Knight's going to spawn. Now, your goal is just to kill the Knight. You don't have to kill the Shrieker. In fact, it may make your life a little bit harder. Now you're going to want to watch out for the different phalanxes and things that spawn because they're trying to knock you off still. However, once you've killed the knight, I recommend doing this with supers and spike grenade launchers, but if you don't have that, cluster bombs is great too. You can go ahead, claim the chest, claim your bounty and your pursuits, and you've done the Ascended Challenge. So now if you look up and at the back area over this stone hinge looking thing, you can hop in the portal and you'll be back out to fight the massive hordes of enemies that were left in the lost sector. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. If you thought I could do something better, please comment down below. Please go check out some of my other videos. Once again, thank you for watching.